In 1829, at the age of 35, Sam Houston prepared for an easy re-election campaign. As the popular governor of Tennessee and protege to President Andrew Jackson, Houston stood at the threshold of becoming the next United States president. Driven by an ambition to be anything but ordinary, Houston arrived at this pivotal moment with as much calculation as luck. Sam Houston formed his own image and very um, deliberately. He was a flamboyant dresser. He had an antagonistic personality, yet very charismatic personality. At six foot two and powerfully built, Houston was no ordinary man. He was a spectacular person, physically a spectacular personality, and he knew it, and he played on it, and he used it. That winter, Houston had taken a bride befitting a man on the rise, a society belle named Eliza Allen. In a world where appearances mattered, it looked to the outside like the perfect match. It wasn't. Sam Houston always believed that he could turn events to his advantage. He was always an optimist, and I think he truly believed it would have a good ending. Two months after the wedding, Eliza left him, threatening the career and future of the most powerful politician in Tennessee. You can't imagine a much worse personal disaster than the one that befell him between 1829 and 1832. To be socially ruined was to be politically ruined. And it was, as one fellow said, what a fall for a major general and a congressman and a governor. You know, how, how can someone go from so high to so low so fast? Sam Houston was falling as quickly as he had risen. To find redemption, he would have to walk an unconventional path. It was a path he had walked since his earliest years. 